Hey people, Calvine UFO Day 5! <laughs> and today, things have changed, probably for the better. But first of all, I'd like to thank you for saying really nice things about me and the way that I'm approaching this. It seems that the UFO community are quite uh, combative about it's a UFO, it's swamp gas, and I'm really not like that. And you appreciate that, I'm open-minded. If this turns out to be a flying saucer, I would say so. If it turns out to be a secret aircraft, I would definitely be interested. And if it turns out to be a reflection of a pointy wee rock, then the mystery is solved. But today, I am not alone. <laughs> Lots of people are ploughing into the Calvine mystery, including mainstream TV, but lots of really good YouTube channels. And they've come up with some pretty good ideas. One or two, I think, kind of change my mindset about the story. And very much hoping that you guys from YouTube and my wonderful patrons who live in central Scotland, the Edinburgh clan, the Pitlochry crew, are going to go up to the Calvine Loch Alochty area, feet on the ground and actually find the truth. But today let's explore some other ideas that people are putting forward. Some funny, some silly, and some kind of intriguing. Hey Wiley! So the first unbelievably great piece of Calvine breaking news is from a channel called open-minded approach who did this awesome animation what do you think Wiley yeah I agree the next comes all the way from Australia from the newsroom explains good TV show title who go over the Calvine thing for the Australian audience. The truth is out there. The thing that really makes me laugh about their piece is whoever edited it didn't know the theme tune to the X-Files, so used the music from Stranger Things. But I suppose there are only 12. And here's a very intriguing Lots of Work by Gary Bosley. Great name, Gary? Canadian? Yep. He has done a reconstruction from Google Earth, trying to find the place using the wee fence posts and the vegetation as a guide. Now, I have a bit of a problem with that because the photograph was taken in 1990 and 2022. I think the trees might have grown and the fence might have moved. But what he's doing is good work. And it raises another big issue that I think somebody mentioned in the comments, and that is there's no fence, Professor, around Loch Arocti. And yeah, yeah, and the, the vegetation is very different because it's a man made reservoir which changes in height. I think they probably wouldn't want sheep grazing right next to what could be drinking water. So. 
Good point, because in the original photograph, on the fence, you can clearly see bits of wee sheep wool on the barbed wire. So that implies that the photograph was taken. At the time, in 1990, near some sheep. And to end, the YouTube channel Alien Addicts have come up with a really intriguing idea that we got the wrong rock. <laughs> If you look wee bit closely at Loch Arocti, there's another rock. And here's a picture of it. Actually, it's a better candidate for the reflection theory. So that's how this fascinating story is going. I think we will solve it because the truth is still out there.